Hey guys. Quick voiceover intermission. Yes, I am so crazy, but I quickly wanted to give a shout out to this video that I filmed with Quest Nutrition for the launch of their new flavor. It was so awesome and so fun. There were a bunch of YouTubers involved and things get a little messy. So I would definitely recommend clicking on this box right here to watch it or in the link in the description. Now back to the video. How are you doing? I hope your day, night, whatever it may be is going very well. Before we get started, I quickly wanted to mention that I'm sick right now. So if I sound nasally at all or if I do this throughout the video, um, then that is why. But today's video is going to be a Twitter Q&A. So I tweeted you guys to ask me questions with the hashtag AskClaudia, which by the way, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's Claudia Saluski. I tweet amazing things, inspirational, emotional, string pulling, string pulling tweets every day. Maybe not every day. So I picked out a few of my favorite questions and I'm going to be answering them today. So let's get started. The first question asks, what's your favorite video you've ever posted on your channel? I would say as of recently, my favorite video that I've ever made was my lookbook that I made with Drew. It's called Screening. It's more of like a fashion film type of thing. We just had a lot of fun. But if you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it right here. It turned out so freaking cool. And I wanted to give it a little shout out because I feel like by the title, and thumbnail you might be confused what it is but it is like my baby of all the videos that I've ever made so if you guys want to check that out I'll have it here as well as in the down bar is it hard to keep up with your Instagram theme and how long did it take you to think of it I feel like Instagram themes first of all are kind of becoming a little overrated at least in my book I'm kind of getting over it I feel like at this point I just kind of post the photos that I want to post but usually use the same filter every time and I think if you do that you naturally just kind of create your own theme I think the whole point is to not really stress too much about it just post whatever photos you like but I would say my tips for having a successful theme or whatever is to kind of stay within the same color family as far as what you're taking pictures of and then like I said before just choose a filter that you like and throw it on there I personally dabble with a 8 a 9 sometimes a 6 and there's a new one that I really like if you have no idea what I'm talking about I'm talking about visco cam se3 is really nice. I'm liking that one as well. I feel like I just shared a very valuable secret to you guys. I just I just gave it out there for all of you to know now. Now you know. That's probably my number one asked question ever. That's a little sad. <laughs> If you could choose one song to listen to for the rest of your life, which would it be? This is such a hard question for me to answer because I don't have a specific music genre that I enjoy listening to. I'm really all over the place when it comes to listening to music and it's always changing. Let me look through my Spotify and see. I think all in all, I would say I listen to mostly alternative music, whether it's like alternative pop or indie or alternative rock, just like that umbrella of music I really enjoy. This one's kind of an old one, but I always really do enjoy listening to Breeze Blocks by Alt-J. Yeah, so I really like that song, and then also, here's a song that I've actually really, really been enjoying lately. I used to listen to it a ton, but I like rediscovered it in my head a few weeks ago. It's Down the Line by Jose Gonzalez. I'm <laughs> so sick. Yeah, so I really like those two songs. I feel like I can listen to them when I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm excited, I'm whatever. Also, if you're wondering where my phone case is from, it's from Wildflower Cases. I love them so much, and this one I've been using for like months now. You guys always see it in my pictures and ask. Let's get back to the Q&A though. We're getting a little off track. Funniest moment with Lexi, Jack, and Drew, which if you guys don't know who they are, they are my roommates. Oh my gosh, this is so hard to answer on the spot. I feel like in general, we always have just like really funny memories that happen in the house on just random days. The first thing that I could think in my head was this one night. It was probably like a weekend night or something. I don't even know, but we were all home and we had a few other friends over and 
somehow our night led into us turning off all the lights in our house and just having a dance party in pitch black. It was so funny. Surprisingly, no one got hurt, but literally like it was pitch black. Like we couldn't see what we were doing and we were just dancing and being idiots. And then I remember I downloaded like a strobe app on my phone. So we started playing with like a strobe light and yeah, I think just in general, like having those nights where we're all home and we just like create our own fun from some silly joke or activity or whatever, usually ends up being like the memories that stand out in my head the most because they're kind of like genuine and homey and it makes us feel like this family that we've created together and it's just really cute. So if any of you guys are watching this video, I love you and I'm so glad I live with you guys. Okay, we're getting a little emotional here. Add a funky effect to this tweet. Oh, challenge accepted. Oh yeah, I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do something weird with this, with this tweet. The next question asks, if you could only follow one person on Twitter, who would it be? And 100% it would be Andrew Lau. If you guys don't follow him, you have to right now because his tweets are so funny. I love his sense of humor. Just the way he tweets everything, just he's great. Are you satisfied and done with your new room? Um, at the moment, I am very satisfied with my room. I actually only have one more thing that I need and it's making me so mad because I'm not getting it until so much later. If you guys watch any of my vlogs then you would know that I ordered a bed literally like a week after moving here. Um, I'll show you guys a picture of the bed that I ordered. It's from West Elm. It's gray and it's got this super awesome like high headboard and it's a queen size which right now I have a full so I'm very excited to upgrade. When I ordered it, it said that it wouldn't come until October and I decided what the heck, I'm just gonna get it. I know it'll be worth it. But recently I got an email saying that it got back ordered again and it won't be shipped out until late November. November. <sighs> Does anyone else have issues with West Elm online ordering or something like that? Because I know Lexi did with her bed. It's making me so freaking frustrated. I just want the bed to complete my room. But once I have that, then I'm all good. Do you still want to get a Roman numeral 4 tattoo inside of your pinky? Yes. I. There's actually two tattoos that I really want. Um, I want like a little Roman numeral 4 right here. I don't know if I've ever explained the meaning of it to you guys. It represents two different things. The first thing is that four has always been like my lucky number. It's my favorite number. And like somehow I'm always able to manifest it in my life. Like literally there's four of us living in this house. I have four decorative pillows in my room. My nose is getting really clogged. There are four rows of pictures on my picture frame and I think it looks perfect because of that. Like it's crazy how four is just like everywhere around me. I have four packs of gum in my thing. This is, now I just sound like a crazy person. That's the first reason. The second one is the way that it's written out, each line segment kind of represents a family member in my family. I'm not gonna go into specific detail of um, who is which line because like it literally takes so long to describe it But when I say it to people they're like, oh my god, how did you come up with this? It's cool, but I really want to get that and also I want to get a little tattoo on my little tragus right here that represents something else So I want that. Oh my gosh. I feel like I need to blow my nose. I'm slowly falling apart How did you deal with your breakup? I feel like in general, I always manage to deal with these type of situations very easily in my life, at least looking back on all the relationships that I have. And I think the reason why it's easy for me to kind of handle situations like this is because every time something happens in life where it's not, you know, ideal in the moment, you kind of just have to look at the positive side of that situation. For me, I took it as an opportunity to kind of rebuild all of the friendships that I have with my roommates roommates and all my close friends here because it was definitely a very intense relationship and when you get sucked in so much sometimes you forget to balance out the rest of your life and nourish you know your relationships with your friends and your family and your friends back home and all of these different you know components of life and stuff so I kind of took it as an opportunity to kind of rebuild those and work harder for myself as far as my well-being, my work in general, kind of things like that. So I took it as kind of like 
a window of opportunity to work on other things and focus on stuff that really matters in my life right now. I'm so comfortable in my own skin and what I'm doing and everything feels so right. So I think my biggest advice for any of you guys that are dealing with breakups or any type of, you know, like loss in your life as far as a partner or best friend or anything like that, so much good can come out of something that might seem bad at the time. But everything happens for a reason and every person that comes into your life, they come into your life for a reason. You're going to learn lessons and gain experience and all that stuff. That would be my advice, is just kind of to look at, you know, the other end of the stick. And sometimes you don't realize how bright the road in front of you is until you get there. Do you have any regrets in your life? This is a really good question. I know everyone always says this, but I believe it so much and the saying is that you only regret what you don't do because I'm sitting here trying to think of different things that I've done and I don't regret anything that I've ever done. The only times that I ever felt like regretful for anything were the times that you know I didn't speak up in a certain situation or I didn't do what my gut was telling me to do or things like that. Yeah, I feel like that's something that I've just been working on a bunch within the last few years. My my life just in general like taking action when I want to and kind of taking advantage of the now and doing things when it comes to your head rather than waiting on it or not telling someone something or whatever stuff like that because at the end of the day you literally only have one life on this earth as of we know because we don't know what happens after death so why not spend it doing the things that your insides are telling you to do if there's something that you've been wanting to say or do and it's not causing any harm to the earth or others then you have every right to do it because it's your body it's your life everything you should do it Motivational speaking with Claudia Saluski. On to the next question. Set a timer on your phone and see how long you can hold your breath. Okay, I feel like I'm not gonna be on my A game because I'm sick, but I'm not gonna use that as an excuse. Let me get some deep breaths in here. As if I could actually do those. <laughs> Ready? Okay. <laughs> I probably could have gone longer, honestly, but I reached 36 seconds. That is a lot longer than I expected, so cool. Okay. Next up, what is your favorite Starbucks drink? Well, it depends on the mood that I am going into it because usually I have two different drinks that I'll get. If I'm looking for something that's more like refreshing, I'll usually get a venti iced unsweetened green tea and I'll put two packets of some sort of sweetener in it. I try to get stevia if I have it on me, but if I don't, I'll use like Splenda. That tastes so good. I usually have that. That's like my number one drink. But if I'm trying to go for like a coffee drink and I need a lot of energy, then usually I will get a grande iced skinny vanilla latte with almond milk. And if they don't have almond milk, I do soy milk. That's my drink. And the last question for today's video asks, do you still wake up to Hot and Cold by Katy Perry every morning? I had to put this in the video because I cannot believe that you remembered this. Oh my gosh, I don't even know which video I talked about this in, but in, I think, middle school? I don't know if I did in high school, but definitely in middle school, I had Hot and Cold by Katy Perry set as my alarm on my iPad, and I woke up to it every single morning, and I loved it. I don't know, it was just such a good way to wake up and no I don't have that anymore because I usually just kind of wake up on my own time every single day unless I have you know work or some sort of call time but usually I'll just actually wake up around 8 a.m. but I'm really considering repurchasing it on iTunes just to have that as my ringtone when I need it alarm clock not ringtone my mistake. But that is it for today's video. Thank you to everyone who tweeted me your amazing questions. I had so much fun filming for you guys and I love making just sit down videos where we get to talk. Sometimes my camera decides to just turn off out of nowhere. That was such a special moment we were sharing and it just, it shut off on us, so rude. I have so much fun filming these videos for you guys because I feel like they're very personal and chill and everything. If you guys want a closer look into my life and watch more personal videos like this, then be sure to check out my second channel, which is Beyond Beauty Star TV. Rest in peace, Beyond Beauty Star, because now my channel is just my name. But I will have that link down below. I've started vlogging a little bit more because I know how much you guys like it. So so definitely check that out. I also have all my social media in the down bar as well. But I will see you guys for a new video next week and I love you all. Bye.